Hi, everyone. Hope everything's going well. And they had a good weekend. Uh, so now that you've had a, a general overview and introduction to what grant proposal writing is, and of course, what it involves this uh, week, we will uh, start module two, uh, finding grant opportunities. And of course, finding grant opportunities and evaluating them can be a uh, time consuming process. Uh, of course, many uh, requests for proposals might not fit with what your organization needs to fund or with your organization's mission. Uh, so as you sift through them um, to find ones that do fit, um, it can take a lot of time to go through. Uh, and of course, as our uh, class materials discuss, there are many different uh, types of funders and uh, various places where you might look for funding opportunities. Uh, so to start, um, you'll want to uh, read through my mini lecture on finding grant opportunities. And then we have a few lesson materials for you to read. Uh, first, of course, includes a lesson two from our textbook, the uh, only grant writing book you'll ever need. And then also uh, a few websites and a couple of videos. So those are all uh, listed on our lessons material page, lesson, lesson materials page um, on Canvas. And uh, we also have some optional resources listed on that page as well, if you scroll down a little bit further. Uh, and I really do strongly encourage you to look at those as, as well. Uh, so then once you get through our lesson materials, we have a, a discussion activity for Wednesday, and you'll need to draw from some of our course materials for that. Uh, and of course, in addition, you'll need to use our library resources page and, and actually uh, explore uh, two different sites or databases for finding grant opportunities. And of course, my thanks to our librarians for putting together that library resources page for our class. And of course, exploring, um, exploring those uh, different uh, sites and databases uh, can uh, be very important for you to get a good sense of them so that you can uh, feel more comfortable searching and finding specific grant opportunities that you might actually use to prepare a proposal for. And so after you uh, complete the discussion, as usual, replies to you want to reply to classmates, and those replies will be due by Thursday night, so 24 hours after your initial post for this particular discussion. Uh, so then on Friday, we have another discussion in which you will locate specific grant opportunities. Uh, so search and hopefully locate, right? So, uh, so those are often called RFPs or requests for proposals. And so you'll find some that might fit with uh, the program that you would like to fund for, uh, for our community partner, Wayne Township. But of course, if you have received my approval uh, to work with a different community partner that you already have a relationship with, uh, then you can focus on a program for that community partner instead. Of course, as I said, uh, make sure you have my approval on that. I have already been in contact with a few of you about that. Uh, so you might already uh, um, be uh, pretty positive about which particular program you want to focus on, such as the tornado sirens, or the equipment grant, the cemetery survey. Uh, but if you don't currently have a strong preference or you're still trying to decide, uh, you could try looking for a grant opportunity for more than one of the programs. Uh, so, of course, uh, finding RFPs, that is requests for proposals, uh, that might work can take some time. So that process for this discussion of locating them, it might take more time than you expect. So make sure you set aside plenty of time for that. But one more, uh, but uh, one important part, of course, of the grant uh, writing process is locating good grant opportunities. And so you want to make sure that you are learning how to do this as well. Uh, so, of course, once you do complete your post, you will also be able to see uh, which ones your classmates found as well in their own posts. Uh, and, of course, with this discussion, you, uh, you'll need to post first in order for their posts to be visible to you. Uh, remember, of course, to post links to the grant opportunities uh, so that we can actually look at them. Um, and, of course, uh, you know, make sure that the links are working. And uh, in, the, in, the, in your post, you'll also be explaining your choices. And so take a look at Canvas for more detailed instructions about that. And then after your post, you will need to respond to classmates, uh, which the, then those responses will be due by next Monday. So you'll have um, over the weekend and through Monday night to do that. Uh, so then next week, uh, we will be focusing on how uh, to approach reading and analyzing RFPs, that is requests for, for proposals. And I'll be sharing some more details about that later. Uh, all right, I'm going to leave it at that for now, uh, but if you do have any questions, make sure you do let me know.